Alright folks, how's it going? The name's Def, and welcome back to another episode of Ratchet and Clank with the PlayStation 2. Okay, so last time, Ratchet and Clank met Captain Quark, and they found out he's playing for the other side. And we got an info bot regarding this planet being under siege. So let's go see if we can help these guys out, shall we? So we're on Fort Coronto, so planet Battalion, so almost Battalion, okay, cool. Alright, so, um... Let's see what the hot bob is, shall we? Right, so anyway, hope everyone's fine and dandy today. Hope everyone is fine and good. And I wonder if the new weapon we're going to get for this area is the plasma striker. I don't know why, but I just got a big feeling. Let's have a look. Uh, no, it's not. It's the Devastator. Hmm, okay. We haven't got enough for it, though, unfortunately, so we can't use it. it sucks, but for the most part, it should be alright. Okay, so in terms of direction, let's see here. So, ah, yeah, okay, I remember. I recognize this bit. Grind boots, right? Yeah, grind boots, and I think up here is the main thing, right? Scout the area. Um, if you could break away from the battle, so it would be a good idea to explore the quiet areas of this world. Meet the commander at the city. The commander needs your help. Meet him at the platform before the city, right? Okay, okay then. All right, no problem, no problem. Just want to check something if you don't mind. Okay, cool. All right, all right. Let's go this way then. Let's go do the grind boot section because I remember this one being kind of fun actually. Okay, got some bolts for you. All right. So, as I mentioned at the end of the last episode, one of the things I remember distinctively about this um, this level is the fact is that there's a turret mission. And I remember quite rightly that that was a pain in the ass. So we'll have to see if see if the original is harder or easier. Wow. Okay. So uh, I think I was meant to make that turn then. Yeah, I think it was. So uh, yeah, on the episode where I mentioned. In the episode I mentioned about the grind boots when we first got them in the space station, I did say um, we would be jumping along the different rails. This is an example of one of them. Jump on the mine and make that right of turn now. Brilliant. Just mine. Put it the left, yes, I do. Ah, no zitchy. Oh, come on, really? Ah, uh, these mines. These mines. Yep. I know for a fact this is going to be really annoying. Because the actual... The actual roof area is very, very small. It really is. God, I can't wait to get this health upgrade. It's going to be so much easier. But, I mean, I've not came across it yet, so... It's going to be sticking with the full health at the minute. Yep. Right, come on, Daffy. Eyes up, son. Okay, not gonna question it. Oh. Oh, come on, really? Right, come on, keep me going, keep me going. There we go, there we go. There we go. And again. And again. And again. Really? It's hard, isn't it? It is. It's tough. Let's so jump over here. Let's go these, uh, go these bolts if we can. Right, I think we're almost there now. Just mines. Oh, do you know what? This reminds me of the Whale Canyon section of um, Sonic Heroes. I love and I hate that area at the same time. Okay, I think we're here now. Halt! Who are you? What are you doing? We are on a mission to save the galaxy. Speak for yourself and put your hands down. You look ridiculous. Actually, I don't care who you are. I've got to get the heck out of here. I joined the army to get money to go to college. I never knew I'd end up in a war. Go figure. 
This is a noble cause, sir. Noble my Jaime. I just want to get home to my family. Here, I pulled this off a busted robot. Give me some bolts for a bus fare and it's yours. Thanks deal. Good luck saving the galaxy or whatever. Greetings, Supreme Executive Chairman Drek. As you can see, we're about to test our newest automated pilot's helmet. This helmet allows pilots to control our latest high-tech fighters using only their thoughts. Please enjoy the demonstration. We still have a, a few minor adjustments to make. Oh, if they ever get the kinks worked out of that thing, I have got to get me one of those. If they are working for Chairman Drek, they may know where he is. Is that all you can think about, Drek this and Drek that? I got my own problems. If you cannot see the importance of this situation, you do have problems. Yeah? Well, if you're so smart, how come you fell for Quark's stupid trick? Oh, you know. Ah, forget it. We both need to get to this planet, and that's all that matters. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. You'd be surprised, right? The amount of people who do join their country's military um, forces thinking it's cool or so I try, I'm trying to think of my words carefully here but from what I remember reading up and stuff and talking with a few people I knew people who join the you bastard People who join the country's military forces, they get the wrong idea of it, or they go in with the wrong idea. I don't have any opinion whatsoever. I mean, people who join the military forces, I mean, all do, you know, all the respects in the world, obviously. But, you know, it's a harsh reality, let me say that. But anyway, I'm talking shit like usual. <laughs> don't mind me. Right, okay, so, um... We need to go this way now. Oops. Okay. Got my minions. Deal with these guys. <laughs> oh, I do love these uh, little guys. Perfect. I love it. Alright, okay, so let's carry on moving then. Oh, I should jump in. I'm gonna get them. Sweet. Go ahead. Right, uh, okay, so some bolts here we can get rid of. Get some, sorry. Yeah, the fact is that kid wanted 2k bolts. Ugh, really has set me back from getting the Devastator. They're dead? Yes, they are. Sweet. Okay, so let's get this, um. That's to go into the gadgets, aren't we? Yeah. We need a trespasser. I really don't like these trespasser, um, mini games. Annoying as hell. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see what we have. Alright, so we have five to deal with. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, okay. oh, this is really annoying, isn't it? Uh, huh. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> hello, fish in a row. We got her. Honestly, that's what I do with these trespassing missions. I just, um, trespass in the game, sorry. I just figure around until they're done. I know in the remake that there is an option to skip them, actually. But you just don't get some kind of reward or something. I don't understand, but... but I don't understand what reward it is, because I never did it. And I always skipped them or just did it automatically. And, um, I just pretty much progress with the game, really. Oh. Okay, let's uh, carry on then. Do we have any more ammo? No, we don't. Okay, we're going to mine go for a while. Right, I think I'm going the right way. I am, but there seems to be some goodies over here. Well, not goodies, but it's a blank area, so I might as well check it out and see what the hub bob is. There's bolts. Nothing important. Oh, hello. <laughs> Talk to the hand. Eh, that's just some bolts and some um, ammo. It's not bad. 
Okay, this part cleared out. There's bots. So there's something to be there's something up here though. Well, it looks like we can go in. I'm not so sure yet. Let's have a look, sis, shall we? I don't see. Oh, right, yeah. I'm a dog. Okay, climb up here. I thought that was like a um, a door we could open up, you know, similar to the um, press pass the door just there. Okay. Don't tease me, bro. Oh, do you remember that video? The uh, the don't tease me, bro video. Christ, that was like over like what? That was like Stone Age YouTube, that. God. So, if you want the context, I mean, I'll try and put a link in the description if you can remember. But, um, the whole preface was, it was uh, a college campus, like, assembly sort of thing. And I think the college was doing some changes. This is in America, by the way. This is in America. And, um, one kid was um, protesting or something. And basically, the security guards were trying to get him out. And he was refusing. And thank you very much. That's nice of you to do that. And basically, they're gonna use a taser on him. And he's literally just saying, "Don't tase me, bro! Don't tase me!" And I just remember everybody was quoting that in the videos and doing like stupid animations and stuff of it. It was basically like Nyan Cat and stuff. Oh god, that's another one as well, Nyan Cat. No, that's uh, Benny Hill, pal. Uh, what is it? Meow, 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 meow. No, I don't know. I can't remember that one either. The actual tune. It's actually more annoying than that baby shark, baby shark tune. That's amazing. The evolution of YouTube throughout the years. It really is. I am such a boomer. <laughs> anyway, back to modern times. That's an ammo. That's nice. Okay, are we almost done. No. Mm, near enough. We still got another area to visit. Down here, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do not. I don't want to dance, pal. Thanks. Alright, let's have a look down here. God, they're literally commandos. They're hiding in the bushes. We need to be careful. There's Charlie in the bushes. My name's Jake. <laughs> Oh, come on. He's a brave man. At least the mines are homing. That's pretty nice. Okay, is the area clear? Seems to be. Ah, right. Okay. I'm getting some flashbacks to the, uh, the remake now. And I'm sure, Sugar, that this was a nice area. I think. I think it might be a nice area. Not a... Um, not a uh, jungle area, I guess you would call us. I don't know. Okay. The balls over here will collect these first before we uh, operate the wrench. Can we go up this way? Uh, it's leading up to an area. Yeah, we can actually. Any significance come up here? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, shit. Sure. Okay, okay, okay. Right, that's a big note. I don't fancy falling to my death, thanks. So, we'll go the proper way. Extend all the bridge-o. Okay. Not doing too bad thus far. Oh, we? Nope, we're not. Ah, I thought it would have been a bit of a, a bit of a glide or something on that um the heli pack jump, I guess you call it. I've got the name of it already. I'll tell you one thing though, I do like this world actually. Whoa! Devastator is a great weapon against tough enemies. You can purchase one from the Gadgetron vendor on this world. Thank you for telling me that, but we're a little short of money. So is it worth? Not really. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay, 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 okay. Alright, 
It's moments like this where you stay close and you bomb. So there we go. Devastator. Huh. Who needs it? Who needs it when you can literally just stay underneath them and just use your bombs? Yeah, I get some well deserved health after that. Okay. So, um. Also, another thing. A good friend of mine was gracious enough to give me a guide on how to get a lot of bolts. So, either... Either between this episode and the next episode, I will do a little bit of bolt farming. Not watched the video yet, so... Basically, what I'm saying is we'll, put, we'll purchase that rhino and we'll check it out. Okay, so we need to go this way, I think. Okay. You know, the only one who can jump around. Whoa! Holy crossfire, Batman. That's a break. There we go. Okay, I need health and I need health now. Oh god, I don't think there is any health in the area, is there? Nope. No, there is not. Hmm. Our range, just our range. Oh, boo hoo. Okay, well, we don't have any health, and I don't see any. Well, I mean, gotta be a little bit holes doing this, but let's dance, I guess. Nope. Alright. All the way here? Well, I guess I'll see you back in that area. Hi there, Fuzzball. <laughs> Rocky Lounger. Let's <laughs> to show that off. This guy's annoying. This guy's very annoying. Holy shit. This took me a few times, a few tries, but I'm here. Yeah, he's literally taking me like four times to get here. Four tries, sorry. Just a bloody tank. That's all it was, just the tank. The tank. And now, the fact is, though, I've got no ammo. I mean, I pretty much bought the, uh, I bought the, uh, the Devastator, but we don't have any ammo for it. So really, it is a case of what to do, really. And the fact is, though, you... It's these bloody bombs as well. That's all it is. Uh, if I can get some ammo... It would be alright, but we don't, so we're gonna have to do this physical way. Right. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait until this guy comes around and then we're gonna do a meteor strike from the top like that. Because apparently that does double damage. I didn't realize that until uh, the other day I looked it up. Okay, here we go. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Basically, this is Ratchet and Clank's version of Assassin's Creed. Oh. Really? And we're back here again. Alright, okay. Take two with the tank. What? I was to say. Let's say, don't bother. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right. Okay, okay. I think area's clear. I hope. No, no, for this. Right. Oh, wow. 
Okie dokie. Oh, still got one guy left. Right, are we clear? Are we good? Can we move on, please? Fuck's sake. Honestly, I had to spend whatever bolts I had left to fucking get ammo. Wow, okay. Well, that's one. Let's give you a one. Honestly, sacrifices I make, eh? <laughs> Alright, there we go. We got a bridge. Let's get on the bridge. Let's get over the bridge. On the sunny side of the bridge. And that's a bridge past. That thing and won't budge. I've tried everything I know short of nuclear weaponry. Hmm. No, never mind. Well, you tried. See ya. Not so fast, soldier. You're going into that compound even if I have to throw you. Aha! That ventilation shaft leads to the turret platform. Soldier, find a way to use that shaft to infiltrate the compound undetected. Hmm. You've shown bravery by making it this far, soldier. And for that, I reward you. I intercepted this communique that you might find useful. Take it. I'm off to find my battalion. Good luck. Hello once again, fellow blog. I hope this message finds you well. As many of you know, our home planet is no longer habitable. We've abandoned our factories, our laboratories, and our happy lives because of the encroaching pollution, leaving much behind. Fortunately, the nearby planets will supply us with all we need to create our new home, which is nearing completion. Once our scientists locate the ideal orbit, our new world will be perfect. So reserve your space now. Prime locations are filling up fast. Good day. Now do you understand why we must stop him? He won't rest until he has destroyed every planet in the galaxy. Yeah? Well, I got bigger fish to fry. Bigger than the galaxy? Well, different fish anyway. Look, didn't that commando guy say we could get into that compound? Yes, by using the ventilation shaft. But we will need something special to walk on that. Fine, let's get going then. We'll come back later. You will need a pair of Gadgetron Magna Boots to traverse this ventilation shaft. Unfortunately, our scanners do not detect any Magna Boots on this planet. Yep, we're gonna need the Magna Boots. So, we're gonna have to go to, um, well, we need other planets really, I guess. So, we're gonna have to get back the way, but the question is how? How are we gonna get back? Well, they'll go old fashioned way. Anyway, what I wanted to say was... Actually, I think this could take us back. Yes, gun. Sweet. Well, what I wanted to say was, nothing that says efficient working than a gun to the head, is it? Well, honestly. It's a bit dark, that, isn't it? <laughs> ah, there is. Right, well, while we're going back, I just want to see how long we're recording for. Um, we'll get to the next area. And then... I think I will call it a video. Well, I mean... I've been going for about... Well, minus the edit, it's probably about 23, 25 minutes, something like that. So, I'll go for another 10 or so. Right, so we need to go to either Volcano Planet or this Planet Oxstone. But I'm not sure which is which. Okay, uh, Oxo Refinery or Koga Refinery or Blog Depot. Depot. Blog Depot. Ah, let's go Gaspar. Find the pilot's home. Sure. Uh, we'll do this mission next uh, next session, but we're going to make a bit of a start and then finish it off next episode. It'll be fun. Alright, so I don't know how long left of the game there is. I think we've got about four more planets left. I think that's it, I think. I don't know, but I'm definitely over halfway. I'll tell you that now. Definitely over halfway. Alright, let's see. Any cutscenes or anything? Uh, I'll see in a second. Nope. Oh, okay, cool. Right, well, I guess I can make a little bit of a start. Alright, Gadgetron, that's what I was looking for. Let's see, any new stuff? We have the Walloper. Okay, so that's the next weapon. Oh, next weapon. <laughs> right, well, 
Let's make a bit of a start in, shall we? So let's see here. So we need to find the pilot's helm. And there's a question mark. So I guess off we go then. Okay, let's see. What do we have to deal with? Okay, so we've got some of these sand robots left. Oh, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Let's quit this and let's see if we can find anything that'll help us. Because we got the Sonic Summoner in the last episode, so I'm not too sure. Might be something, we'll see. Unless it's for... Aradaria only. Which would be a bit... I really need to select weapons off the screen. That's what I need to do. Okay, let's go uh, bomb glove. Yep, that way it will save me a bit of sanity. So we're not trying to switch in the middle of combat and lose some health. Okay, these guys. So, yep, so we'll switch to... Flame thrower. Flamin' Verfa. I don't know. Flame throwing a hot desert. <laughs> He's exhausting to the max. Whoa. Okay, I guess that's not the way to go, is it? No, it's not. Okay. That's because we took the wrong turn, Daffy. That's why. Idiot. Okay. Uh, we can't go this way, alright. Ah! Okay, I get it. Yep, sir. And circle. Okay, no one coming through. Don't like it. Alright, so use the turrets. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, a flamethrower can defeat robots? I have no idea. Obviously we're melting the Obviously we're melting their um their alloys and stuff, but for the most part, I mean I would say that they would be pretty heat absorbent for this environment, but hey, I'm not what to judge. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not today, but oh okay. Okay, switch weapons. Master. Ah, still got me. Okay, it still got me, it still got me, it still got me. Okay, so push forward then. Whoa, hello, Mr. Mine. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I was then, but hey ho. Okay, I'll just go back to the devastator. Cross. I do remember this area being um, quite fun, actually. Wonder if there's a a collection kind of um, a collection kind of mission we have to do here. Probably, we'll see. Okay, use the turret, please. No, nope, suck up. How do you use it? I forgot. Oh, you got triangle. Right, let's blast the other door down. Enough. I keep referencing the remake, but I do know in the remake, um, enemies actually come out of those gates when you destroy them. So I guess nothing, nothing in this version. I tell you, that's all I've been doing these past eight videos of playing Ratchet and Clank is uh, actually could be able to destroy this with the. Uh, nope. Um, I've been comparing the remake to the original version. Just because I played the remake first before playing this. Well, actually, it's not my first crack. It's not my first Ratchet and Clank game. I think I mentioned my first Ratchet and Clank game was Ratchet and Clank 2, I believe it was. I actually um, I rented it. I rented it from Blockbusters, which was uh, an old like video renting store. It was an American chain that came over to Britain in the uh, the late 90s, early 2000s, something like that. 
So, um, yeah. So, I remember spending a lot of time in there just renting games and stuff. That was fun for the most part. Am I actually going to do all this? And, hmm, well, we'll see. We'll see. I was going to say, I wonder if I actually am going to do all this in one go. Well, not one go, but, you know, do this this episode. I was going to say it for the next episode, but I've already gone ahead, so I might as well make it a bit of a, a longer video, I guess. Oh, God, I can't breathe. I'll breathe, but burping. <laughs> oh, watch out. Next weapon. Oh, come on, use a break. Go, my minions. Fetch. Okay, are we alright? Guess so. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh god. Oh, well. Shit. How far are we? Yeah, we're at the beginning. And there's a gold ball up there. Ah, if I remember that, I'll come back for it, maybe. We'll see. But how many bolts have we got? 2k? Alright. Yeah, see you later. Right, well, I think I'm gonna call it there. Um, If I survived, <laughs> we would have done all that in one go, but... To be honest, I've been recording enough, so at least we've got a taste of the planet and see what its inhabitants is and stuff. Right, well anyway, that's going to be it for today's episode, so thank you very much for watching. Please, leave a like in the episode if you enjoyed it in whatever capacity or way that you found it. Uh, links down below, check them out if you wish, and apart from that, you enjoyed the rest of your awesome day, and hope to see you next time. Take care.